You don't have to wait until you have a laptop to be able to set up a successful ad on Instagram or on Facebook. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your smartphone to be able to create ads on Instagram or on Facebook. Let's get into the video. So let's start with what you need. The first thing you're going to need is a Facebook or Instagram page. Make sure you have a functional Facebook or Instagram page where you post your product and services. The second thing you need to do is to connect your Instagram account and your WhatsApp account to your Facebook page. Make sure you connect your Instagram account and your WhatsApp account to your Facebook page. The third thing you need is a prepared ad account. And one of the problems we have in Nigeria is paying for our Facebook ads using a MasterCard or Visa card. A prepared ad account helps you pay for your ads in Naira also using your MasterCard or your Visa card. Make sure you have a prepared ad account. In case you don't know how to create a prepaid ad account, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video showing you how to create a prepaid ad account. I'm going to also leave a link on how you can create your Facebook page, connect your Instagram and your WhatsApp account to your Facebook page. And lastly, you want to prepare your ad creatives. You want to prepare your ad creative. This could be a picture or a video of whatever product or services you are selling. So make sure you prepare your ad creatives. Once you are done with that, you want to go into your Play Store. For those of you using iOS, you want to go to your App Store. Once you are there, search for this app, Meta Ads. As you can see, I have it installed on my phone already. But if you are watching this video and you don't have this app on your phone, you are going to see a place for you to install the app. Once you've installed the app, you're going to open up the app. Make sure you sign in using your Facebook account. Once you sign in, you're going to see your ad accounts here. If I click on this top left corner, these are the list of ad accounts and my client's ad account that I have access to. So I'm going to come here and click on this button, which is great. Create your campaign. The first question I'm asking you is what's your objective? We look at the screen, we have about six campaign objectives. We have the engagement, the awareness, the traffic, the leads, sales, and then app promotion. Each of these campaign objectives have different use cases. Take for instance, the engagement campaign. If you want to get more messages, video views, post engagement, page likes, or event responses, you go with the engagement. If you want to show your ads to people who are mostly likely to remember them, use the awareness campaign objective. Now, this is mostly for big companies who just come into Nigeria or big companies, multinationals, who just want people to engage with their brand. The next one is the traffic event. Send people to a destination such as a website, an app, or a Facebook event. This is good for link clicks, landing page views. If you have no business using that, please. Don't waste your money. Now, leads. This is where you are going to collect leads for your business or your brand. This is good for instant forms. You want to collect people's name and numbers and email, you can use this. Sales. This is the campaign objective you are going to use when you are trying to find people who are likely to purchase your product or your service. Then app promotion. You want people to install your app and continue using, use that one. Like I said earlier, all these different campaign objectives have different use cases. But I shot a detailed video showing you how you can choose the right campaign objective for your campaign. I'll also leave the link to the video in the description of this video. Please go and watch that video. For this video, we are going to be using the first one, the engagement campaign objective. That's because I want people to send me messages on my WhatsApp and make inquiries about my product. So I'm going to click on engagement, click on manual campaign. Well, campaign name. You want to name your campaign in a way that you can remember it. So I'm going to give this one a name. Test. What's up? Ads. So make sure you name it whatever you can remember. So I'll go back. The next is special ad category. Facebook is going to ask you whether your campaign is related to either credit, employment, or housing about social issues, elections, or politics. Requirements differ by country. Don't bother about that if your ads does not fit into any of this category. Remember, you just want to make sales. 
So the next thing you want to do is to choose your budget. I'm going to click here to select your budget. Now there are two kinds of budget. Either you are going to use the daily budget or the lifetime budget. Now I always advise that you use the daily budget. And that's because in case you run an advert that is performing so well and you were using the lifetime budget, that means it got to a point where you exhausted that budget. Facebook is going to pause your advert and you don't want that to happen because if you try to edit that advert and increase your budget, it's not going to be performing as before because Facebook will have to learn about your audience all over again. So please always use a daily budget. So I'm going to insert a budget or start with 3000 Naira. Business strategy, leave it as highest volume. Let's go back and then click on next. Now this is the asset. This is where you are going to select your conversion, destination, the schedule, your audience and your placement. So let's start with naming our asset. You want to keep this very simple and we just name asset one. Now conversion, choose your messaging app. This is where you are going to select the destination or where you want people to send you a message. You can either choose on your advert, messaging app, website or Facebook page. I will choose the messaging app because I want people to send me a message on my WhatsApp business. Next you want to do is to select the page. I'll come here. This is my personal profile and the second one is my business page. So I'm going to select the second one. Remember, you need to connect your WhatsApp account to your Facebook page. Also connect your Instagram account to your Facebook page. It's very important. The messaging app, choose where you are available to chat. We determine the default app that appears on your ad based on where a conversation is more likely to happen. You don't want to leave it as messenger. You want to select WhatsApp business and I'll select this. Immediately you select WhatsApp business, Facebook is going to show you the WhatsApp business account that is connected to your page. So you want to pay attention to that. So once you are done with that, click back and then confirm again. Make sure everything is set. Go back. Next thing is the audience. There are so many school of thought on how you can target your audience. But for me, what works is using my ad creatives and then allowing Facebook to do their job. But you want to make sure that you target the right state. So let's say I'm targeting Lagos. So I'm going to come here. Edit this. Delete. And then search. Lagos. I want to make sure it's the city, not the region. Make sure it's the city. Then go back. This is where you are going to select the age range of your customers. So I recommend you leave it at 26. And then depending on what you are selling, 45. This all depends on what you are selling. I believe you understand the age range of your customers. This is where you are going to select the gender, are they male, are they female. Make sure you understand the audience that will find your product appealing. Are they women, are they men, is it both gender? That is very important. Then all languages, don't worry about that. So you click on back and then select placements. You want to select manual placements. Come here to devices. On select desktop platforms it's always good to test one platform at a time so in this case i'll be testing only my facebook so i'll select instagram so I'll add facebook stories so i'll scroll down and that will be all for now so I'll go back. Now I'll click on next. Now on the adverts, this is where you are going to set up everything about your adverts. So I like to name my adverts with the ad creative. I'll select all, say add one. Add one. In red, one. So come here, 
you have two options either you can create the advert from scratch or you can use an existing post now to make life easy for you I always advise that you go to your facebook page or your instagram account and make sure you create the posts so these are all the posts on my facebook page so i'm just going to select one and then go back then edit add creatives so this is a website link you want to leave that because they are going to send you a message on whatsapp now message template you can edit this message template you can turn this off Panel, please. I'm interested in buying the shoe. My size is in set size. As it mean that you are selling female shoes. So go back once you are done with that. The next one below is the call to action. Since they are sending you a message on WhatsApp, I'm going to leave it as send WhatsApp message. Once you are done with that, go back and click on review. Now you want to ignore the error on my own end. What you are going to see here is your ad preview. You are going to see how your ad is going to look across different areas of your placement. So once you confirm that everything is correct, you click on publish and that's it. What do you do when you click on publish? You have to let your adverts run for at least 48 to 72 hours. Also, I shot a video on how you can test your ad creative and test your adverts to find a winning ad. I'll also leave the link to the video in the description of this video. And if you have any question, please drop a comment. And if you found this video useful, all you need to do is to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell because every Thursday I drop new videos. See you in the next one.